artificial intelligence is increasingly evolving and playing a major role in our lives. The advancements in the field of robotics and recent creation of mind-blowing humanoid robots such as Amica and Sophia have stunned almost everyone on the planet. These robots are able to respond, move their body parts, show realistic facial expressions, and reply to the questions in a creative and rational way. There is no doubt that in a few years, these humanoid robots will be seen all around the world. However, the main question that remains is whether these AI robots will be able to show emotions just like humans do. Watch the video till the end as we answer all your questions regarding this. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on that bell icon so you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you. Before we start, let's give you a general introduction to AI. The foundation of AI is the collection of massive volumes of data. This information is then used to extract knowledge, patterns, and insights. The goal is to build on all of these blocks and apply the findings to new and unfamiliar settings. This technology makes use of advanced machine learning techniques, extremely high-level programming, datasets, databases, and computer architecture. Contrary to popular belief, artificial intelligence is all around us. It has become so widespread that it powers many programs and services that help us accomplish ordinary tasks like connect with friends, use an email program, or use a rideshare service. When we first wake up, many of us reach for our phone or laptop to get our day started. This has become second nature to us, and it is ingrained in our decision-making, planning, and information-gathering processes. As with every improving technology, demand for data processing that is faster, more energy efficient, and free of human mistake is growing at an exponential rate. However, many people are still oblivious of its impact and our dependence on it. Traditional software uses the same computational methods as AI, but in a very different way. The most unique aspect of AI is that it allows software to rewrite itself in order to adapt to its surroundings. This may make it possible for AI to take control of an entire system, making all decisions from beginning to end. If you are still not able to understand the concepts of AI in our lives, look at how Siri on your phone can find almost everything you ask her to find or how your social media feeds start showing the same things as your Google searches. The reason behind all of that is artificial intelligence. With the increasing development in AI robots, the scientists are trying to devise ways with which they can enable AI robots to think and feel like humans and maybe even experience the feelings of love. If we talk about humans in general, we have a natural inclination for social and emotional intelligence, and thus we rely mostly on our instinct. On the other hand, these AI machines are completely different and are unable to feel any of this. However, scientists are attempting to bridge this gap with the help of Emotion AI. Emotion AI, also known as Effective Computing, is an area of artificial intelligence that aspires to process, interpret, and even imitate human emotions. It was first developed in 1995. This technique promises to increase natural communication between humans and machines, resulting in an AI that is more genuine and feels close to humans. If AI can somehow develop emotional intelligence, it may be able to duplicate those emotions as well. Currently, many AI machines are able to get more precise insights into our emotions from video and speech. These machines are also employing sentiment analysis, which is the technique of algorithmically identifying and categorizing opinions stated in text to assess the user's attitude toward the subject. While AI may be able to classify our words into positive or negative categories, the question still remains that whether it can actually understand how we feel. Even as humans, we overlook cultural references, sarcasm, and nuance in language, all of which drastically affect the meaning and the expressiveness of different feelings. Do you think AI will ever be clever enough to recognize human emotions and respond accordingly? Answer this question in the comment section below. 
Communication is now mostly filtered through digital media in today's environment. We like to exchange chat messages and set up video calls instead of having a face-to-face -face interaction. We prefer to shop online and turn to chatbots if we run into any issues instead of getting things ourselves. This filter is not always helpful as communication is warped and inquiries are misread, leading to frustration. AI humanoid robots employ synthetic speech system that helps them to minimize the robotic tone that many of those services use, allowing for more authentic emotion to be expressed. A very good example of this is Google's Tacotron 2, which is revolutionizing the field of artificial voice simulation. It is obvious that emotions are difficult to read by nature, and there is frequently a gap between what individuals say they feel and what they truly feel. Although a machine may never achieve this degree of comprehension, who is to claim that the way we process emotions is the only way? Because our interpretations of one another's emotions are rife with bias and opinion, AI may be able to assist us in getting right to the point when it comes to our feelings. It is also important to mention that the human brain is the most complicated part in our body, which coordinates all body functions and interpret information from the environment. Our brain networks are made up of about 86 billion neurons connected by an estimated 100 trillion synapses. Many of its repercussions and capacities have yet to be untraveled and understood by neuroscientists. Humans are continually changing and learning, which is similar to how AI works. It is right to say that the expansion of existing and future machine intelligence technologies is driven by human intelligence, creativity, knowledge, experience, and invention. Major technology companies are developing cloud services to enter into industries like leisure and recreation in their bid to dominate the machine learning industry. For instance, Google's DeepMind has developed a computer program called AlphaGo, whereas IBM's Watson is a supercomputer that memorably competed in a televised Watson and Jeopardy challenge. Watson used natural language processing to respond to inquiries with identifiable speech recognition and responses, raising a stir in the public consciousness about AI's probable future. Despite these advancements, AI is still in its early stages, and many researchers are working hard to develop breakthroughs that will revolutionize a range of industries. The development of machines that are as smart as humans, if not smarter, is usually regarded as the pinnacle of AI. AI is rapidly advancing thanks to its ability of absorbing vast volumes of data faster than humans and produce more accurate predictions. With each passing day, it is becoming more than obvious that AI is the way of the future. That is it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, show some love and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.